Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're discussing how to avoid luggage hell when traveling. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most crucial tips, services, tools, and strategies to prevent the airlines from losing your luggage, as well as how to respond if they do. Just carry your bags on. It should go without saying, but if you don't want your luggage lost, don't let it out of your sight. If you're only going away for a few days, pack your clothes, toiletries, and other bare essentials into one carry-on that'll fit into the overhead compartment. Measure and weigh your suitcase before boarding, as it might be bigger than what the airline allows. Now, since every passenger will likely have a carry-on, the airline might ask at the gate if anyone wants to volunteer checking their bag to save space. Unless you're the chivalrous type, do not offer your bag up although you may have no choice if you're among the last aboard. Of course, there will be times when you have to check a bag or multiple bags, especially if you're transporting something large, but always keep your most valuable items on you. This is non-negotiable. Your phone, travel documents, medications, glasses, and more must fit in your backpack, purse, or pockets. If your checked bags get lost, at least you'll have these on hand to escape a broader travel nightmare. Use luggage trackers. Just because you're placing your luggage in the care of others doesn't mean it has to be out of your control. This is 2023, so travel tech is vastly accessible and essential. Travelers can keep tabs on their bags with just a smartphone and electronic trackers. Apple AirTags are the best known and most popular Bluetooth trackers, and will let you pinpoint your luggage's location via the vast crowdsourced Find My network. If you're an Android user, tiles like the Tilemate or Tile Pro are also awesome options. Samsung Galaxy has its own smart item tracker as well, and there are also various GPS and GSM trackers. Optimus 2.0 works well for domestic flights, although if you're traveling internationally, the Americaloc GHM00W or Tracky Mini are better equipped. Whichever tracker you choose, using them is simple enough. Just secure the tracker on or inside your bag, download the proper app, and you can follow its progress. You'll be able to track your bags down before the airline does. Don't skimp on travel insurance. It ain't just Southwest. With so many airlines struggling with organizational chaos in the COVID era, no matter how many precautions you take, there's always a possibility that your luggage will get lost. To prepare for this worst case scenario, you definitely wanna think about getting travel insurance. First, check your airline's website for a rundown of their policies. While the airline workers will try their very best, or at least try to try, to find your luggage, they may not be held legally responsible for certain lost items. This is where insurance comes in. Whether your luggage is lost, delayed, damaged, or stolen, travel insurance will help cover new clothes, toiletries, and emergency supplies you may need to buy. The insurance company, depending on what policy you go for, may also reimburse expensive items like jewelry, although hopefully you've saved the receipts. Again, that's why it's best to carry on any valuables. Also, before making any expenditures, check your credit card coverage, as some level of travel insurance may be included. Chase Sapphire Reserve, for example, will get you $100 daily for five days if your luggage is delayed. But there are many travel-specific cards you can apply for. Label inside and out. When it comes to the realities of modern travel, all luggage is not created equally. If you want to give yourself the best odds of not getting trapped in lost luggage hell, your philosophy should be basically the same as a socially awkward high school student. Whatever you do, do not stand out. Have a weirdly shaped suitcase you inherited from grandma? Going to use that shapeless round duffel bag you found at the back of your closet? As a New Jersey sage once said, forget about it. Any bag that deviates from standard sizing and proportions has much greater odds of jamming up the works and getting tossed aside by an uncooperative conveyor belt or an impatient and harried baggage handler. And that goes for overstuffed and extra heavy bags too, which are notorious for throwing off the carefully calibrated carousel sensors. And don't get us started on bags with loose straps, which will literally get you hitting a snag. And that goes for decorative tassels, ribbons, and anything else in that vein. However, multiple luggage tags or stickers with your full contact info are absolutely essential, both outside and inside your bags. Even better is to leave a full itinerary of your trip inside your bag. Also, be sure to take multiple photos of your luggage and make a thorough and complete list of your belongings. This will not only help the airline find your luggage if misplaced, but also will prove essential if insurance agencies have to get involved. Avoid short layovers and connecting flights. Direct flights are always the way to go, when they're available. 
If you have no choice but to take a connecting flight, really, really try to have only a carry-on. In the event you absolutely have to check a bag, make sure there's at least an hour-long window between flights. Nobody likes being at an airport longer than they have to, but you might not allow yourself enough time to get from gate to gate. You could be stranded on the ground while your checked bag is sent on its merry way. And it can also work the other way around. You may arrive at your final destination to find your luggage missing. This is most likely because the handlers didn't have enough time to transfer bags from one airplane to another. Some layover flights also require passengers to claim their bags and then recheck them for the next flight. Connecting flight policies vary between airports, so make sure you have a very clear idea of what you need to do before handing your bags off. Always be early. It never hurts to arrive at the airport an hour or so early. Sorry, did we say an hour? Better make it three. Or more. Not only does this help guarantee you'll arrive at the gate on time, but it also lessens the chances of your luggage being lost. The earlier your baggage gets to the loading bay, the earlier it'll get on the plane. Upon arriving at your destination, you may be tempted to purchase some Starbucks, but heading to baggage claim should be your only priority. Now, according to the New York Times, transporting bags from the aircraft to the carousel takes an average of 8 minutes. But delays happen, meaning passengers could be waiting between 15 and 45 minutes for bags. When bags do start coming in, don't panic if yours isn't among the first to arrive. Be patient, and make sure you're at the right carousel. However, if it gets to the point where there are only a few bags coming in on the carousel and none are yours, it's time to seek assistance. Fast. Be politely pushy. Yep, we can't stress this enough. When it becomes abundantly clear that your suitcase isn't going to show up on that carousel, waste no time alerting the airline and getting the process going. If you're lucky, maybe there was just a slight mix-up and your luggage will already be at the baggage claim office. More likely than not though, you'll instead find yourself filing a missing luggage report. The process will go by much quicker if you have your baggage tag on hand to show the agent, as well as any photos of your bag. Once you've filed the claim, do not leave the airport without getting a specific phone number you can call for updates on the status of your bag. You must also receive a reference number to track your bag status online. Try to get the name of the agent who helped you as well. From there, head to the hotel to regroup, but don't sit around and wait for them to get back to you. Stay in close contact. Understand what the airline is and isn't responsible for. According to the US Department of Transportation, airlines are required to compensate passengers if their bags are damaged, delayed, or lost. This goes for domestic and global travel. That said, every airline has different policies on lost luggage. Some don't consider a bag to be officially lost until five days have passed. For others, it can be two weeks. Since you won't be reimbursed overnight, hold on to any receipts for items you had to buy as a result of your lost luggage. Those pictures you took of the bag will also come in handy if you need to prove there was no pre-existing damage. If the bag is damaged beyond repair, a price will be negotiated. Although the airline will eventually compensate you for the bag, this doesn't necessarily extend to all the items inside. Valuables, breakables, and cash in particular may be excluded. $3,800 is the maximum liability permitted for domestic flights, while international ones cap off at $1,700. In some cases, the airline might pay more, but they aren't required to. And that's where insurance comes in, right? Get your recovered luggage delivered. Okay, so you have to make a claim. When filing your claim, you have to specify that you want the airport to deliver your lost luggage to you when it is finally found. Assuming that it is found, of course. Given the hassle you've already been through, you shouldn't have to haul yourself back to the airport to pick bags up. Unless you're staying at your destination for a long while, we'd strongly recommend having them deliver to your home address. Because if you give the address of your hotel, they might deliver it there after you've already headed home. Then you'll have to go through many, many more hoops to retrieve your bags. You should also confirm with the airline if they'll be entrusting a specific delivery service to drop off the bag. Rody, a UPS company, is one of the most trusted delivery companies. Whichever service they use, make sure you're able to track their progress in real time using your smartphone. Take legal action. Count your blessings if your luggage is returned in a timely fashion with none of your belongings damaged or missing. However, if you feel like you haven't been properly compensated or the airline handled the situation in an uncooperative manner, perish the thought, can legal action be taken? Assuming you went through all the proper channels and the airline still didn't comply accordingly, Yes, you can take them to small claims court over a lost, damaged, or delayed bag. 
be like passenger Haley Hickox Huffman, who took US Airways to federal court when her bag was delayed a day after she paid $15 to check it. Or Eric Cape Deville, who is suing Southwest for their slow refunds during the chaotic 2022-2023 holiday season. Just remember, suing an airline is like waiting for a bag. It's a long, tedious and stressful process. But without the threat of legal repercussions, what will motivate the airlines to shape up?